Okay, so in these uncertain times, sound financial advice, very important. Each Thursday, we're joined live by Steve Peasley, who's a registered investment advisor, president of KPP Financial, and Dana Point. Welcome, Steve. Thank you for having me. Today's topic, all too familiar in the OC. We, when I arrived here in 1990, they referred to the OC as the land of scams. Yep. True. Mm -hmm. We had Lincoln Savings. We had Fund America. San Diego, too. Exactly. Yep. Now, the ones we're talking about today are kind of being perpetrated, I think, all around the country, because maybe the internet is the vehicle of, of pitch. It is a great vehicle for the scammers. So let's, great. let's look at some general statistics first okay. on investment scams, uh, where they come from and who these scammers tend to prey on. Um, well, the major, 60% of all scammers come from the United States. I bet you most people think that's not true. But remember, the scammers go where the money is. Uh -huh. Right. Where's the money? Here in the United States. Okay, so they're created here, and of course, this is where they think the marks are. That's right. 15%. By the way, we're, number two is the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. They have 15%. We have 60. Wow. They have 15. The Brits are so, supposed to be straight up people. <laughs> yeah, so it tells you how big. And we in the U.S. are the most popular place. That's California. right. California. California is number one uh -huh. state for scammers. Number one. So I don't know if that's a good thing for us. I don't think so. And um, the the big concern to, uh, for me is that 48% of all complaints for scamming people, investment scams, mm -hmm. come from people 50 years or older. Mm -hmm. So they're targeting the older people. My generation, the baby boomer generation, Sure. that's who they're going we after. We hear about that actually uh, quite often. We cover those kind of stories. Yes. Now, the game has changed though. They're going after more of like gold and oil today. Right. The two most popular scams, and this is not uncommon. What they do is they see what's hot out there, whatever right. people are interested in. And everybody's advertising gold. You can make a fortune. It was fortune penny stocks or, 10 years ago, maybe, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, they still do penny stocks. <laughs> I, I have one here that was sent to me to buy. Okay. Uh, and I'm an investment advisor. And they. Real quick, how does, let's take just oil. How does the scam work? Okay, it's very easy. You are going to miss this opportunity if you don't invest this 32 cents per share oil. We've just discovered the biggest oil field in Canada. <laughs> You're going to miss it. It's a secret. No one else knows. These are the kind of clues you get. And you have zero chance. The oil well, what, doesn't, is capped? It doesn't it, exist? It either doesn't exist, or it does exist, but it's a dry hole, or it actually has oil in it, but it's not worth the effort to get out. Okay. All right. Be, be skeptical. Do some research. Research. Independently verify. Be skeptical is number one independently verify that what they're saying is true. Mm -hmm. Just assume they're not telling you the truth. And if someone calls you or sends you an email to do these things, don't just ignore them. Okay. Switch gears, we have a question. Yeah. Speaking for you of emails, uh, we ask our viewers to send questions and you can answer it for them. This is the question from Marilyn F. in San Juan Capistrano. Dear Steve, how soon do you think a child should invest in a Roth IRA from Marilyn F. in San Juan Capistrano? Great question. Okay, very easy, as soon as they start making money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very easy. And it's interesting, real quick, that if you put $2,000 away for like seven years in a row, right. uh -huh. but when you're 19, sure. by the time you're 65, you'll have a million dollars. What was I thinking? 14000 becomes a million. That's right. And a Roth IRA is and the way Roth. to go. Mm -hmm. It is. Woo. Every week at this time on Thursdays from KPP Financial, he's the president there, Steve Heasley, you can check out his website. The website is at investtalk.com. Steve will be back next Thursday. If you have a question for him, like Marilyn did yeah. from San Juan Capistrano, just email him, email it to our address. That's news at kdoc.tv. Thanks, Thanks for the for advice being on the Thank you for having me. We'll see you next Thursday, Steve. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to.